high pressure side on the Chevy on the AC system you need to replace that valve there are many out there that recommend replacing it each time you do it they're only six dollars they're really cheesy they leak profusely all the time you touch them and they go to hell in a handbasket I am with that thought uh, that train of thought to just buy a new one each time you want to charge the system because you're going to push down on it when you're doing your system using your valve assemblies and you want to make sure it works. There's nothing worse than getting it all tested out, finding out it's holding vacuum perfectly, and then charging the system and losing the Freon you just put in. It's really annoying. So I've already replaced the one on the low pressure side. Now we're going to pop this one on the high pressure side. It usually doesn't take much to get it loose. It's a 16 millimeter wrench. I use that to back it up. And then I just grab a hold of it. I like to use a pair of old battery pliers, but you can use channel locks. Let's grab it right here. You can see there's a set of things right on there. And if you're slick about it, you can pop it loose. And then it comes right out. Now obviously, make sure your system's empty before you pop this valve and then pull it out. It has a rubber gasket on the bottom like an o-ring. When you put the new one in make sure the surface inside here is clean and then that's that little plastic piece of rubber crap ball in there that fails. Just put a new one in. Don't fart around with it. Anyways there you go quick and dirty.